I'm telling you to find your exit because so many of you are bound. So many of you are going through things. Yes. So many of you are struggling. And I come to tell you today, find your exit. Yes, but stand Lord. on the word of God. So, I need you to just look at your life. Look at every situation in your life. Are you bound with addiction? Then it's, fine. it's time to find your exit and be made whole. Are you dealing with strongholds? It's time that you find your exit and be whole. Are you dealing with poverty or lack or struggle? Today is the day that we tell it goodbye. We find the exit and we let it out. Today is the day. So I want to encourage you to find your exit. Your exit of poverty, your exit of struggle, the exit of insecurities, yeah. the exit of unfaithfulness and unforgiveness, yeah. the exit of lack of self-control, the exit of everything that's not like God. Yeah. I come to tell you that today is a new day. Yeah. My husband said he's doing a new thing. They even played a song that, um, yeah, that's it, that's it. All things made new. So I'm going to tell you once a day. Isaiah 43, 19 says, Behold, I do a new thing. Yeah. Let me read. That's one of my favorite scriptures. <laughs> All right, Isaiah 43, 19 says, for I am about to do something new. Right. He's about to do what? Something, something new. new. No, he's about to do something old. Already been done. No? no? Okay. I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Ooh. Don't you feel that? Yeah. He's already working on your behalf. Yeah. Yes, he is. Woo. That alone will just make you jump, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he's already begun to give you a new car. He's already begun to work on that house that you need. He's already begun to give you that job or to fix the job situation that you're in. He's already begun to give you a healing in your body when yes, you're sick. Yes. He's already begun That's right. That's right. to do a new thing. Do you not see it? Do you not feel it in your body that yeah. you're starting to feel better? Uh -huh. Do you not feel that he's doing it already? Do you not see the money even though the money not there? Do you not see that house of four beds? I ain't seen it yet, so I, I, I'm seeing it. But I don't see it, so I just know he's doing a new thing. Yeah. So do you not see it? Do you not see the change that's coming in your family? Do you not see the thoughts that you think that it's not all, all the way pleasant right now, but do you see the change because we're being transformed by the renewing of our mind? Yeah. Do you not see it? It says, I will make a pathway through the wilderness. Yeah. What's in the wilderness? <laughs> okay. Hotness. Yeah. No life really. Yeah, yeah. He said, I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers. Yeah. That means living rivers will flow wow. yeah. in the dry wasteland. That's good. That's good right there. The wild animals in the field will thank me. Yeah, yeah. The jackals in the owls, too. Yeah. Forgiving the water in the desert. In the desert. It's good. so hot out there. Yeah. Yes, it is. I ain't never been there, but I heard yeah. it's so yeah. hot out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But streams in the valley. He will make a way. Yes, he mm -hmm. will. He said, Yes, I will make rivers in the dry wasteland. So my chosen people can be refreshed. He's not talking about that bottle of water over there. He's not talking about water that flows from the faucet. That's right. But when you got your mind stayed on God. That's right. When you have a made up heart that mm -hmm. 
For God you live and for God you die. Mm -hmm. To give you water so that you'll never be thirsty again. That's right, that's right. Yeah. And so I come to tell you, if if you see it, then you need to find your exit. Right. Yeah. Where is your exit? He's doing a new thing. Don't you perceive it? Yeah. He's bringing change to your life. He's making them grades from bad to great. He's making, yeah, yeah, making you living at your mama's house to having your own place. He's making streams in the desert. Yes, Don't you is. see him? Yeah. That, that child that doesn't act right, that has total rebellion or disobedience on him. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you see that he's walking in the authority of God? Yeah. Don't you know that our steps are ordered in the Lord? That's right. And you might see that acting out right now. But don't you know what God's about to do? Yeah. Don't you perceive? Yeah. yeah. But if you don't perceive it, then you need to find your exit. Yeah. You need to find your exit of doubt and insecurity. You need to find your exit of unbelief. Yeah. Same thing as God. You need to find your exit of struggle and addiction. Find your exit. Yes, Lord. What's holding you down? What's stopping you from going out that door to receive everything that God has for Amen. you? Come on, yes. Come on, what man. is it that you need from God, but what is it he need from you? That's right. Yeah, that's good, Minister. Mm -hmm. Faith that's without good. works is dead. As a door now, yeah, Pastor door Karen, now. I always say that now. <laughs> As a door now, you have to get up and go to work if you want some money. That's right. Nobody's just going to randomly give you something. Now it happens, don't get me wrong, yeah. because God just blesses through whoever he chooses. That's right. But your bill's not going to get paid without you getting up at a certain time every day. That's going right. Going to clock in on somebody's time, or if you're self-employed, going to meet somebody needed, somebody's house for business. Right. So you got to leave a certain time of your house, get to your destination on a certain time, and you got to put in the work. Yeah. You gotta put in the hours. You gotta put in the sweat and the tears. I don't wanna be, I'd rather be in my bed, but you gotta overcome that get uncomfortable up. Right. Get and get, get, get to work and do what you gotta do for you and your loved ones. That's right, that's right. That's so, faith without works is dead. Yes, it is. It is. Pastor told me last week, well, you just not looking hard enough. That's how I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look it, I can't find nothing. She started sending me houses. I went to one and it was right on the street of a busy highway or a busy road. I said, uh uh, that ain't it. Because <laughs> my kids, you know, no. I said, I will keep looking because, but you have not because you asked tonight. Yeah. You have not because you asked tonight. And if you seek, you shall what? Find. You shall find. So be careful what you're looking for. Seeking, I know And when you knock on the door, guess what? He's going to open the door. He is the door. That's right. That's what he said. That's so right. So come out. Find your exit of anger. Because Proverbs 15 1 says, a gentle answer will turn away strife. Yes, it will. Yeah, that's word. Yes, it will. Find your exit of hatred mm -hmm. or murder in your hearts because if you turn anger into gladness, your hatred will go away. Don't you know the joy of the Lord is your strength? And if we're to love God that we've never seen, don't you know we're supposed to love our brothers likewise? That's right. Yeah. That we see every day. They get on our nerves every day. Uh -huh. That make you mad every, every day. Every day. Uh -huh. That them bosses and them co-workers and, and what about them children? Oh, uh -huh. God. <laughs> every day. <laughs> so, but we have to learn to find our exit and basically substitute whatever you need the exit to be. You need to substitute it for what it needs to be. That's right. If you need, if you got sadness, but you need gladness, you need to find your exit of sadness. I'm telling you, exit it. I'm telling you. You need to find your exit of get out of depression and oppression because God is not in it. That's right. That's right. You need to find your exit. 
Amen. And you just need to find your exit of jealousy. Don't want what other people have well, because you part. don't know the tears they, they went through to get it. You don't know their anointing. You don't know the struggle right. of me not having nothing, but now I got this four bedroom house. Well, but you don't know right. how many people I had to call. You don't know how that's many right. hours I had to go to work. You don't know how many times I had to call on the You don't know my story. Come on, preacher. So I come to tell you, if you're jealous of me, you need to find your exit. Amen. Because what God has for you, it is for you. For you, Amen. that's right. So if you need to be happy, you need to exit that sadness. You need to exit that <laughs> depression. You need to exit that that bitterness in your heart. You need to exit unforgiveness. Who are you holding on a, a grudge to? Do you know you're hurting yourself and not them? Yeah. Do you know that they moved on with their life? They sure have. And not even thinking about you? Not at all. That's so right. why are you in your unforgiveness or your bitterness or your anger yes. towards somebody that happened yesterday? That's right. Don't you know if you let it go, God will give you a 